the, the earliest presidents who are the most prominent of the founders, Washington, Adams, Jefferson, Madison, <clears throat> none of them would have run for president in a modern political context. They would have regarded as demeaning and essentially an act of prostitution. <laughs> and they would have regarded it as incompatible with the kind of qualities of mind that as president, if and when elected, they would need to exhibit. Because the pressures of a campaign are driven by, in modern terms, polls, what the, what the, what the current opinion is on a given issue. Um, and they believed they weren't serving the people, they were serving the public. Res publica. The long-term interest of the people is the public. But at any given moment, the public probably doesn't get it. Um, so that as president, they would need to behave in ways that were not responsive to the opinions of people at the moment. Adams lost the election of 1800 because he refused to go to war with France. He was right. It was an unnecessary war. And he uttered a, a, a quote, which I think will end up haunting the current president, that you will never recover as president if you take your country to an unnecessary war. Um, Parties begin to affect the nature of campaigns in the Jacksonian period, and things change throughout the 19th century. But, now get this, the first person to actively campaign for himself for President of the United States was Theodore Roosevelt. They were represented by surrogates. They knew the campaign was going on, but it was considered inappropriate, almost, you know, undiplomatic, almost graceless, for the major candidates to be front and center representing their own interest. Um, now, that has obviously changed. Um, <laughs> but it does, I mean, there's some old, maybe I, because I spend half of my day attempting to live in the late 18th century uh, with my dogs and, and all that. When somebody gets up and says, doesn't it, send a, it's like, you know, the fingernails on the chalkboard. When somebody says, I think I am the right person to be president of the United States. Gee, you don't say that. <laughs> I mean, you know, that's like, that's just arrogant. It's not for you to say that. It's for somebody else to say that. 